As believers in Jesus, one of the most defining and obvious characteristics of our lifestyle is that we are marked by love. Let me read to you from 1 Corinthians chapter 8 and how Paul shares this truth with the church in Corinth. Now regarding your question about food that has been offered to idols, yes, we know that we all have knowledge about the issue. But while knowledge makes us feel important, it is love that strengthens the church. Anyone who claims to know all the answers doesn't really know very much. But the person who loves God is the one whom God recognizes. See, the context of this is very interesting. You have the early church having differences of opinion and how they were to act and how they were to eat in regards to meat and food that was offered in an idolatrous worship ceremony. And Paul just kind of cuts straight to the heart because every matter truly is a matter of the heart. And he says, listen, the kingdom of God, it's not about eating or not eating, it's about love. I love what he says there in 1 Corinthians chapter eight. He says, the person who loves God, that is the one God recognizes. It's not the outward performance but it's accepting in your heart the profound truth that Jesus has saved and changed you based on what he has done, not on what we do. And that kind of relationship, that kind of identity, that kind of love, it changes everything. It changes your attitudes, your beliefs, your choices, your decisions, your experiences, those whom you choose as friends, where you go, your habits, all those things are changed radically because you know that you're loved. So I wanna encourage you today. Why don't we be those who are recognized by God? Love people today. Love, love, love them. Even if you don't like them, that's okay. Choose to love them. Because those whom love, those are the ones whom God recognizes. Thank you.